Three honorary captains will be heading to Tampa, Florida to participate in the pregame coin toss at Super Bowl 55. Susie Dorner is a local to the Tampa area. She works as a nurse manager at Tampa General Hospital. Tremaine Davis, an educator from Los Angeles, will also be taking the field ahead of kickoff. Together, they will be joined by James Martin, a military veteran from Pittsburgh. The three will be honored ahead of the game for personifying the NFL's message of it takes all of us throughout the season. In a statement, the league said, quote, all three were selected because of their dedication and selfless commitment to helping others. These heroes are symbolic of the thousands of healthcare professionals, educators, and veterans throughout our country who continue to care for, heal, and support those in need during this pandemic. And one of those heroes joins us now, Tremaine Davis. Welcome and congratulations and thank you uh, for all that you do for all of us. Tremaine, what was your response to learning you would be heading to Tampa as an honorary captain in Super Bowl 55? Well, it was such an out-of-body experience. I can't even remember what words muttered out of my mouth. I just remember asking the question like the Super Bowl, Super Bowl. You know, I just was so just in awe of one, having the opportunity um, to be recognized for, you know, this work and being committed to education. And then to, to then be told that I'm going to be an honorary captain. I, I've been in, I've been in a state of shock ever since. This, this all has been so incredible, very overwhelming, but in a great way. Um, and I'm just hoping to do this award proud. Well, we are so happy for you. No one better could have been chosen. And Tell us about your work throughout the pandemic. You've made it your mission to bridge the digital divide by providing devices and internet access to your students and their families. How did you go about achieving this lofty goal? Well, I have to give credit to the leadership um, in the department that I work in. Uh, I'm very fortunate to work at an institution like UCLA. Um, we have a lot of incredible people who have hearts of gold, um, who have been very committed to making sure that we stay connected to our students from the very beginning um, of this pandemic. Um, and with that, we were able to give out some resources, some information about how students can maintain um, their connection to us um, through um, opportunities to for tablets and hot spots. Um, and also, I think I've, I've had the best of both worlds with, with working with um, those players call it and the digital divide has been a big focus on making sure that we try our best to address it and so i think a combination of, of both of those things this really motivated me to do my part um both um you know working with people who are incredible and i just wanted to make sure that i didn't drop the ball uh, when it came time for them to ask me to do something but also i understand the importance of what it means for us to stay connected throughout this time this is a very trying time and anytime we have moments of, you know, where things are out of the norm, the best thing that we can do is do our best to stay connected and make sure that folks know that we care about them. And I'm so thankful to be surrounded by so many people who live that mantra. And I honestly played a small part in all of this. And so the fact that I'm being honored like this has just been like so overwhelming because, you know, I'm, I'm someone that always works in a team environment. But I, I want to make sure I, I do my all, I do my best to highlight the importance of stewardship and service. And so if, if, if it's going to be me that's going to be chosen for this, that's what I want to do. I want to make sure that we highlight that. Well, you are clearly doing that. And Jermaine, of course, no one knows better than you how the coronavirus pandemic has knocked life off track for millions of people. What setbacks did you and your family face personally during this period? And how have you continued to take strides forward for yourself uh, and your local community, despite the challenges in your way? Yes, you know, um, our family has been impacted the same way that majority of America's families have been impacted. Um, you know, changing from, you know, working um, to working from home. We're very fortunate that myself and also my better half, my wife, have been able to maintain employment throughout this time. Um, but when it comes to socializing with our family, we are we are a family that's really big on our support system. And our support system is our outside family. So uh, my, my mother-in-law, my father-in-law, uh, my brother-in-law, you know, uh, my daughter's uncle, you know, we, we always will have times to get together and have Sunday dinner. 
Um, but throughout this pandemic, we really had to make sure that we were taking care of ourselves and, and doing what we can to keep everyone safe. So that has been a, a big challenge. Um, but what this has granted us is the opportunity for us to really focus in and really hone in on the importance of us getting together. You know, I think moving out of this pandemic, just as a nation, I don't think any of us will take for granted the time that we have with each other, with our loved ones, because that has been the biggest impact. And so, you know, I'm saying this as it's, it's impacting me, but I also realize that there are people out there that have gone through much more. And those people are the reasons why I feel like it's so important for us to continue to, to, to get up and make sure that we're doing what we can to let them know that we still care about them, you know, that we're there for them. If there's anything that we can provide, um, we, we want to make sure that we do that. And so it's been tough, you know, it's, it's been very tough, but this is, this is a, a labor that, that is full of love and compassion. And I think those are the things that has helped us get along the way to get us to where we are today. So we're doing our best to, to take advantage of these opportunities to have, you know, this time to, to reconnect and understand the true value of companionship, of friendship, and of love for, for family members. And Tremaine, you're about to step into a very big spotlight. The world will be watching when you take the field on Sunday. What message are you hoping everyone takes away from your story? I think the biggest message that I hope folks take away from, you know, not just myself, but also Susie and James, is the power of stewardship the power of service um, for others, the power of believing in something that's much larger than yourself. Um, one thing I think that's that's really um, awesome about this whole experience is that we're making service cool. Um, and I hope that this can, can continue to follow. Um, and we, we can continue to inspire folks to get into these professions of being educators, um, being a pillar in a community like James is. Um, being someone who is heroic, you know, who gets up every day to do all they can to, to make sure that others feel safe and protected, like Susie um, and her work in being a nurse. And I think that's very awesome. You know, I, I'm, I'm so thankful to be a part of just these two individuals, you know, Susie and James and, and the work that they do it really inspires me. So I'm hoping that everyone else can see the work that we all do and get inspired to continue to, to, to push on. Because it really is us. It's really the, the, the common day folk that's, that's really out there that um, has an opportunity to really make a big impact in their communities. And if you start with just, you know, understanding that you matter, I think that, that goes a long way. So I'm hoping that that's what comes across out of all of this is that we're able to, to, to share that message about the importance of stewardship, the, the, the importance of committing ourselves to something that's bigger, and then the importance of service for our communities. And then we'll go from there. So... I'm hoping that that will happen, and I'm sure it will, and I'm very fortunate to be in this opportunity again. I, I feel so unworthy of it, um, but I'm going to do my best to live up to this honor. Jermaine Davis, you are absolutely worthy of it, the worthiest. Thank you so much for joining us, and again, congratulations on being an honorary captain uh, in this Sunday Super Bowl. Enjoy, and thanks again for, for stopping in to talk to us. Thank you so much.